So how many of you have tuned into a live stream or watched a video of Bao on YouTube and all you could hear was BAM! Meow! Ring! Air horn, etc. sounds going off constantly. How many of you are guilty of making your own experience sound like that? When we're exposed to the same stimulation repeatedly, we subconsciously filter out what we don't deem important. For example, a smoker is indifferent to the smells of smoking, while a non smoker can smell them from far away. This logic also applies to how we hear sounds such as sounds in World of Warcraft as well. Players don't even hear the sound overload anymore. They become completely indifferent to them. What is the problem this creates? As a result, players will set even more obnoxious sound on the thing they care about most, just to be able to pick it out from the rest of the stuff going on that they're auto-tuning out. This leads to a cycle of escalation where players are fixing the problem by making the problem worse in a never ending cycle. Are add ons and weak guards the problem? Not quite. It's more that boss mods and weak guard packs are often designed as standalone entities, where the default settings are tailored around the mod or the pack being a solar, solo provider of those sounds and text alerts. There are exceptions, of course, but those are usually bugs or bad defaults, and you should definitely report them. To the boss mod or weak guard developer. So, what's the actual problem? Redundancy. Whether on purpose or by accident, redundancy creates a noisy situation where you have a lot of noise for the same thing. This forces users to focus on the most obnoxious of the redundancies and tune out all the rest. Another problem is oversharing. Far too often, I see weak guards get shared around the raid and taken by everyone in the raid. Before you realize it, you have three different weak guards for the same mechanic. Then you go and start pulling the boss, and now they have multiple sounds and warnings for one mechanic. You need to be more mindful what you click and what you share. I've also seen people load entire weak hour packs just for one. Aura out of that pack, and then leave the rest of the auras in the pack. If you only need one aura from that pack, you should immediately delete or disable all the rest, or just consider looking up that specific ability to begin with and downloading just one aura instead of an entire pack, if possible. Blindly loading things and then not actually cleaning it up just creates a huge mess. A whole bunch of stuff you don't need. So what can you do about it as a player? If you eliminate the redundancy and clean up the noise, you'd be surprised how quickly we program your brain to parse sounds and information on screen far more effectively. Once you pick out a specific weak guard or boss mod that you want to use, you should use that and only that and eliminate the rest. You do not need three air horns for one mechanic just to notice it. What can add-ons and weak guard devs do better? Emphasize on creating better defaults than making entire packs or all-in-ones add-ons. And consider what the average person installing needs. You should consider whether or not an ability even needs an emphasized warning or sound, because oftentimes less is more. What am I doing specifically with DBM? I used to use a lot more emphasized sounds in the past. So I've learned a lot over the years. Now I use less emphasized sounds and carefully consider whether an alert should be a special announce at all, or just a regular announce, or if it should just be off by default altogether. I also overhauled the sound design in DBM when I switched the defaults to voice packs by default, because the original alerts were getting out of hand the more mechanic bloat encounters had. You can't just throw beware and run away little girl and everything anymore. There are too many mechanics, and if you have to hear those same sounds repeatedly, you auto-tune them out. Plus, some of those sounds were a bit obnoxious anyway. So I made the voice packs the new default standard in DBM, because now you have 
hundreds of sounds instead of three on repeat. And they're much more soft-spoken, clearer, and just straight to the point, and far less obnoxious. This created a much better experience from all users that I've talked to for the most part. There are exceptions that disable the voice pack because they still prefer the old way, because they're stubborn in their ways, but for the most part, anyone I've asked have told me the voice pack transition default in DBM was a huge resounding success in de-escalating the noisy situation that WoW has become. I also continue working to make DBM features more clear and intuitive to configure, but that's still a work in progress. And that's another reason why I'm uploading videos constantly to this channel for DBM users to learn how to control the mod more effectively. Because the more you learn how to use the mod, the better you can tailor it to your experience so it's not getting in the way and causing more harm than good. I will be reading and replying to all your thoughts in the comments as well, because it's a topic I'm very passionate about. If any of you have dropped by a live stream I've been doing and saw me raid and do mythic progression, you've probably asked me, why do you have no weak auras? And I usually say, because I need to be able to parse information from one source and one source only. That's how I've always raided. And that makes me more an effective raider. And I just firmly believe that makes you that will make all of you more effective raiders too. Not necessarily whether you're just using DBM, but also if you're using big wigs or if you're just using weak auras or combinations of them. You want to eliminate the redundancies and noise spam because if you don't, it's just gonna get worse and worse, especially since the counters aren't getting any easier, they're getting even more complex, especially with private auras and everything. You just need to consider what you need and cut the rest. Thank you for watching, and please throw a like and subscribe so you can catch me in the next video.